We're headed out. This is day, I guess officially we're gonna call this day one. Or day, this is day pre one. Yeah. Scouting mission here in Mississippi. We're gonna split up. Drake and Drew are going to a different piece, and me and Mac are gonna go try to listen. It's chilly this morning. Gonna be it's a drastic change from Florida. We got our teeth kicked in down there and 95, 96 degree heat, and here it is. 30 was it 30? 33. 33 feels like 13. Obviously, some people aren't too amused, but we are. Hoping the day's tomorrow. Sitting way up high on this hill, just trying to choke one out of one from the distance. If we can find a turkey, you know, right here pretty quick that we know he's got to be roosted somewhere close unless he just hit the ground running. Um, but regardless, if we can find a goblin turkey, it's going to be money. So we know they ought to be pretty close to home base here if we can get one located. Gobble, we cover them ground, cold, trying to just choke one out of them, and literally from the truck. And uh, me and Matt was talking earlier, and knew if we could ever get a hen going somewhere, and hopefully get a turkey to strike off. We're pretty much in these big pine flats, just hit, calling down these hardwood bottoms. Got a hen going, and turkey's done gobble three or four times way in the distance. So we're right here. So them hens saw it, they're right in here. And he's sounding me like he's right down the road right here. Finally. This is it right here. Opening day. Preliminaries are over. We got hens we know in the tree. Hoping there's a guy that close that's going to say something. He did yesterday once he got on the ground. We weren't there at daylight, so he could have been gobbling. At daylight, I don't know, but turkey hit pretty hard in the ends. We're banking that he's going to do it again. It's, it's cold, but we were talking last night. These turkeys normally, if it'll kind of level off like it's been, it's been cool the last few days. They'll, they'll normally act right. So we did have a monumental moment yesterday. Yesterday morning and yesterday afternoon. Yesterday morning, me and Matt heard our first gobble together, very emotional. And then yesterday afternoon we had another emotional moment talking about flock turkeys and realized we no longer will call them toms. Ain't those toms the rooster? I don't know. From here on out, Matt, we call them gobbies. Gobbies, my man. <laughs> we have three options, long beard, gobby, or gobbler. Not so too bad on that one. New York has been southernified. That was fine. He gets, there's a Tom Will on the guy. I don't know. I was like, a little bit. So let's call him. Let's call him. So let's just not call him Tom. So yeah, my bad. My hey, bad. Hey, <laughs> Matt, <laughs> hey, Matt, from here on out, we're going to call him Gobbies. Yeah. <laughs> here on out. I was the same damn way. <laughs> Set up on this road. I ain't heard a peep 
this more. We're right where the hens sounded like they were yesterday and sounded like where that turkey goblin was coming to. Just kind of slow playing it. You can hear for a long ways, ain't heard nothing, but it sure is cold. <clears throat> Hopefully they'll get going, the sun gets up a little bit. That's a woodpecker, man. No, that ain't a woodpecker. Uh-uh. That's a woodpecker. That where there he is. That other, that's a turkey. That's a turkey. Yeah, that one right in there. I mean, unless he's, I think he's deep, and he's way deeper than her. Yeah. 
you spit some drop in her strut and some chase call. right here, right around that bend. My hand's still yelping in the tree. I ain't know all I'm doing is them jakes are caulking. Every time they strut, they'll caulk. in the back. Get ready, Matt. Let him clear good. You ready? Dave Yard dead. Let's first go. First gobble together to the first <sighs> gobbly non flockage <sighs> Holy smokes, dude. That was gorgeous, wasn't it? It well, took her a minute to get going. He ain't moved. No, dude, Who that was gorgeous. <laughs> How about that? Let's go. I was burning that red dot, that bush no red dot so I was like, man, I think I screw this up. Oh, look at that. Yes, sir. I mean not not literally knocked the flop out of it. He ain't moved a muscle. Got a little baby sized feather pillow we can make. <laughs> Man, it never gets old. We come in here last yesterday morning, heard it was who knows if it was the same turkey gobble way down this road, probably five, six hundred yards from here. Martin came in last night, heard hens fly up and got on. And these turkeys never said a word on the limb this morning. They got to go in once they flew down. That was there, there's more than just him in here that was gobbling. And uh, we just, I mean, I say we slow played it. We, we got pinned down by that hen or we'd have come up this draw. But, we just backed out and come around and we got up here uh, around the corner. He kept, he was strutting. You could hear them jakes caulking. And, uh, and 
every time we went out there, that's caulking, he's in there strutting. They did it when they came in a little bit, but that's what kept us on them. We really stayed here when I set up just to see what they would do, see if they would drift this way, or we could make a move. I wanted to get this this bend right here, and then started hitting them a little bit, got aggressive, and they finally struck and got the guy on them, and then Jake's were caulking, and they come right down the road. Beautiful, 30 yards, pink meat. Maybe a few pellets in the breast, but he didn't fly off. <laughs> Good job, brother. That was awesome. Congrats, man. This is the the first spring thunder whispering edition of why he did what he did. We're walking back up to this turkey we just killed. And uh, I think the main flock's on down this draw we were trying to get to. But again, going bear and they're not gobbling great. And the hens were responsive earlier for these jakes are down there caulking another set of them. So I'm hoping there's a strutter down there. We're going to try to get, about to buy a man a license and see if we can go get number two here. But um i guess to sum up the story is pay attention to what the turkeys are doing especially when they're not gobbling great uh, obviously they gobbled enough to where we knew there was turkeys in here but when we closed the deal the last 200 yards we just slow played and let them jakes get to caulking to where we knew they were around the bend and the way this road lays is bending right there and bending back there by where we moved the buggy and we just kept going bend to bend and we got as tight on as we could and then hit them pretty hard and got them fired up and they came in but who knows, this could be just an innocent bystander of the flock. We may be about to really get into them. So, good days here on opening day in Mississippi. I'm a licensed hunter. <laughs> Mr. New York's going for it. This would be your first southern turkey, wouldn't it? Yeah, for sure. Oh, now we got a whole new twist of the saga. I was running, I was bad mouthing these turkeys yesterday to the map because talking how, how they don't ever work good and here they are this turkey comes right down the road they work pretty good they don't too track. Track, don't they? i think there's a food plot up in here i remember i think these turkeys are up in so we're gonna go down there see if we can't get them struck up i hope i can run this camera Buddy, you got it. You got it. <laughs> I cannot believe that just happened. Uh, quick. Hey, hey, that might not have been award-winning footage, but hey, I was alone. We killed two turkeys in one day, though. That's what matters. Oh my gosh, dude! I told you they were coming. Yeah. We put it. I said, get him. Go get him. Well, here's a. He was about 40 yards, wasn't he? Then he I said, see him scratching right here. Then he said, there he is. <laughs> I'm thinking, what? That's a big bird. Good job, bro. That's your first southern bird? <sighs> yeah. That's my first. Outside New York, too, Yes, sir. Phil, thank you, man. Good 
job. What a morning. Dude, two totally different hunts. Yeah, totally. Wow, I didn't have time for my heart to skyrocket. I could see his head coming. Did you see him pop it up? Did you never saw him? As soon as you said there he is, but I he saw him. he stepped in the road, didn't he? Yeah, well, about half and, but his then he, that was, he, he was going back when he shot, wasn't he? Just about to. Yeah. His head was up. He was about one, was about 40? About. Yes. Just inside range. Two. Dude, that's and so the freaking <laughs> awesome. Now we can be a little bit louder on why he did what he did on this one because two completely different hunts. Yeah. They were, these turkeys gobbled tw twice since we sat down. We came in and just sat down. They, they, we thought we heard some jakes coughing. I called them and I could see them. I could see them scratching, but they were coming up. I never called to them. We sat back and then they just, what we called, I never even called when I sat down. What, uh -uh. what was last time called 20 well, minutes ago? Said, yeah. And then they, I could see them coming well, that's place. That's you so, went to go look down there. Yeah. I could see them scratching right down here. And these, these, what I thought was going to mess us up, these mounds saved us really. Yeah. Man, just like watching you do what you do, the first time I've ever hunted with you, but <laughs> just like the things that I would have done if I was just hunting on my own. Yeah. A little bit different. And I, I don't know. Sometimes you got to be, you got to be risk, risk busting them, but I mean, I knew they probably weren't going to come through this. And then they were scratching, and then they were just working toward the road. I thought maybe, and hopefully, he, you know, obviously he didn't like what he saw down here. He didn't like what he saw, but he came out with enough, with enough in range here. Yeah, he didn't do it long. But he, like I said, he took the angle. Luckily, he walked out in range, so we got it done. What a gorgeous bird, man. What an opening day in the sit. That was awesome. Good job, buddy. Thank you. Hey, we got a, we got our hunter showing up. Y'all know him from last year. He was he he went viral on us. This is Addis, and check this out. Tell him what you did today, Addis. I got some turkey feet in my hair. <laughs> yep. And why'd you do that? I'd you just want to be cool. Look good on camera, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so that's our hunter tomorrow, and Sean. We're all family. This is where I grew up, and and. This guy right here is gonna be, he's up to bat tomorrow, right? Yes, Yep, sir. yep. But they do it up right here in South Georgia. Bentley's over cooking the chicken. Look at here. We got chicken and deer cheese. This is Bentley. This is Alonda. He's the cook. Well, you're not cooking everything. I'm, I'm the outside cook. I'm making a mess. Yeah, it's a... They only let him cook outside. Um, and then we will there, all there's a we take a big circle in just a minute, and we will each of my grandparents' grandkids and great grandkids will each say their blessing that my granddaddy had us say around his table. So we will all say it here, and then we will all fix our plates and dive in. Amen. Amen. This is the, the greatest way to start a hunt with family. That blessing gets me every time. What a godly family. Looking forward to tomorrow morning's hunt after we have an incredible meal. I bet little old Tad's gonna be looking at that. Tater heads already up. That's what I figured too. Tater heads. What's up, Tater What you doing there, buddy? I'm not. You ready? Yes, sir. I'm ready. I like that real tree suit you got on. Thank you. Man, you look like a bush. <laughs> hey, you look like a real tree. Uh, huh? Oh, yeah, I get it now.
Shady. 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 Swing at a pitch. What do we do? I get back in. Get back in the. Boy, get back I in. Get back in the batter's box. Right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. We we do. Do. That's right. Oh my lands! I was worried. This poor little gun barrel. Was, his gun barrel was trying to follow both heads, doing like this. Oh, that gun never like. I know, buddy. I know. Was that awesome though to watch him come down that road? Yes, Golly. Any turkey hunter knows what that walk's like. Oh my gosh. If you've turkey hunted long enough, you know what that walk's like. I have walked it many a time. You, hey, Adam, listen to me. Look at me. I've been walking it recently. Now listen, you, you're not going to understand what I'm saying, okay? But when you get older, when you get to be 20 years old, mm -hmm. you're going to look back and realize this right here made you a better turkey hunter. It yep, it does. You know why? Because what you were saying, we were walked up. If I had just got my breathing right, if I had just now, you know, you just learn. Try to take a minute. I yep. can't do it. I understand, buddy. I can't do it. I can't I'm either. I'm 47 years old and I can't do it. How do you think I miss so all them deer I miss? It's pressure on it. It's like. Add it. How do you think I miss all them deer I miss? I don't know, man. Shaking the stand like I do. That's right. <laughs> I've missed the last four or five that's, turkeys I've shot at. Right. One even closer than the one you just missed. Uh. I think we're, we're, we've rebounded from the miss 15, 20 minutes ago. I think he's good. I think he's good. We're rebounding. We got two strutters in another field. And we're going to make a big circle around, go through the swamp. And I think we can get to the back end of that field with two strutters over there with no hens. Hey, we just gonna get feet wet. We gotta get feet wet. Yeah. Are you okay with that? Yeah. <laughs> I told Matt to wear tennis shoes. <laughs> and Matt's got on tennis shoes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I didn't get that bird for Alex.
Well, I guarantee you we are giving it all, all we got. All right, so a little update. Man, we after him. Went to the Huddle House in Alma. Got a great lunch. I mean, a great lunch. Came back, did a little recon on some of these fields. Saw a long gobbler across the field where we set up at daylight, just out there by himself feeding. So we hustled back, changed back in our hunting clothes go out there and see if that bird is still in that what they call the lost field we got a little weather update too we got to keep an eye on this rain in about an hour to an hour and a half it's probably going to be raining a little bit and then around five o'clock it's supposed to be a little heavier so we do have a line of storms coming through south georgia Uh -huh. These are chicken and these are turkey. <laughs> Which one are we going for? We going for these definitely. Old oh, turkey track. Again, we thought we were in the game and uh, <clears throat> we didn't realize a turkey came across the field part of the way, but he knew he had some hens over there. They finally popped out. We saw him, he strutted, he gobbled. And now we saw the radar rain coming, lightning. We decided it's probably time to get out of there and we got back to the truck just as it started to rain. And Sean knows I will melt. You know I'll melt. I was waiting on you to float. I was going to get on. <laughs> but it's not going to last long. He didn't come up through these planted pines, but he's gobbling right through here. 
He needs to go down and hit this road and come in. It's pretty thick up in here with pines and briars. There's a road that goes from where he is up to this main road we're sitting on. Maybe he'll follow that and come in. Way to go, buddy! Woo! Oh Way man, to we go! We almost got caught in a pickle. Oh man! man. Glad I seen that hey, Andrew, let me tell y'all something. Andrew saved this hunt for us. Yes, sir. He saved this hunt. Hey. Golly! Thank you, man. Addicts! Way to go, buddy! <laughs> Woo! Oh. Hot dog, dude! That is awesome. Hey, give me some right there now. <coughs> that is so cool. God, look at the spurs in that turkey. Dang. Oh my gosh, look at those hooks. Oh my word. Look at this. Look at that. Dude, what have you done? What have Kill you done? <laughs> hey, show us what's in your haircut. That's, That's what I'm talking about. Right what do you think, Dad? I'm tickled, dude. Hey. Yeah, they about got us in a pickle. Hey, there, if, if it wasn't for Andrew that saw that hen and put everybody back down on the ground, Andrew. Hey. hey. When me and Matt were standing up there talking, we heard we heard him bam, bam, bam right here. And yeah. I was like, Ooh, he just covered some yeah. ground. Yeah. He may come up to his old logging road right oh, here. That, this was here. That's here. right. Yeah. That was all back. Yes, he come running Gosh. up. Hey, let me tell you something. When I told Matt, when I Matt, when I said. We saw the hen, but I could tell then from where the hen the was. Wait a minute. So when you saw the hen, I could tell from where the hen was, you oh, could yeah. get back to your camera. Yeah, I, I was watching you tell him. I was saying, you, you're yeah. good. No, I, I was saying, you're good. Just get yeah. low. You're, you're good. And I, and I was able to crawl yeah. back. Yeah. And he popped out with yeah. just enough time. So y'all didn't see him, did you? I just didn't enough see him. time. He was like, running up. <laughs> barely <laughs> enough time. Is that awesome? That was so I awesome. Dude, that's out. awesome. Hey, that's awesome, man. Look at those spurs oh, on him. Let me see those. Look at those spurs. Look at this. Oh, limb hanger. Oh, limb hanger. Woo! I didn't know what the heck was happening. I was 
made a great, hey, you made a great shot. <laughs> Thank you.